Good morning, everyone. We are back with another musical morning, and today I have a special treat for you. I am here with my friend, Danny, and Danny plays, I think, 1,000 different instruments. Is that about right? There's a lot. <laughs> and all of them have something in common. They're called per, mm, per, help me out, Danny. What are they called? Percussion. Percussion, that's right. I wonder, can you help me say that word? Per percussion. Percussion. Per what is a percussion instrument, Danny? Well, percussion, some people just call us drummers and we play the drums, but a percussion instrument is something that you play by hitting it or shaking it or scraping it. Any of those things would be a percussion instrument. Hitting it? Like, not like your brother or sister or something. No, th that's the best part of being a percussionist is I can hit things and I don't get in trouble and it doesn't hit me back. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, good. So that, that's a good thing. Hitting? So like a, a drum is something <laughs> that you hit and it plays. Okay. Um, something that you would shake would be like maracas. Okay, shaking. Something you scrape would be like uh, guiro. Oh, okay. And then some instruments will do all three. This is, you guys probably know this, this is a tambourine, so I can hit it. Which way can you see? There you go. I That's can hit it, I can shake it, and I can use my thumb to scrape it. <laughs> so you have to do all those different things. Wow, okay. That's that's amazing. Um, so what's your favorite way to play a percussion instrument? Ooh, I guess my favorite way to play it is loud. <laughs> I see that drum right behind you. Do you have something you can play for us on that drum? I do. One of the things that we do with our, in some of the PB and J series is we do a demonstration about changing the speed or changing the tempo in music. And we demonstrate that with uh, this is called a snare drum and these are called brushes and they're called brushes because they look like a paintbrush and it's just a different sound on the drum but you still are hitting the drum and we we try to imitate imitate a, a train so the train starts off really slow and then it gets going faster and you can even hear it It keeps going faster, faster. Wow. That's the kind of the thing we do with the train. That's really cool. I wonder, I mean, some of the sound was cutting out a little bit about that, but I wonder if we could do it again and maybe some of our friends at home can play the, the train too. So we have to play like maybe on a table or- You can um, do that or you can play on your, on your, on your leg or on a table yeah. or whatever. So every time that I hit the drum, you would hit the table. I mean, we kind of make little circles. Okay, like let's that. do it together. And you're gonna, circles are gonna get smaller the faster we get. And then okay. you might actually have to start using two hands if you really want the train to go fast. Okay? So All right, ready? Mm -hmm. So I'll help you. Ready, hit. Circle, circle, circle. We're going to get faster and faster, 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 faster. Now we'll use two hands. Down. So we have like that. Wow. <laughs> you guys got to play some drums too. Yeah, how did you learn how to play so fast that I, I couldn't keep, my hands couldn't keep up with it's, what you were doing? It's just something I've been playing for over 40 years. <laughs> and it's just something you get used to, you have to do. You have to learn how to play fast, move your hands fast. I guess so. <laughs> what, now I, um, do you have any other instruments that you can show us? I have some other instruments. The, the cool thing about being a percussionist is just you don't just play drums you actually get to play some instruments that you can play regular melodies on oh. and they're set up like a piano 
and I'm going to play a couple for you. The first one is called a glockenspiel. That's a really funny word. How do you say that again? Glockenspiel. Glockenspiel. Can we say it all together really slowly? Glockenspiel. <laughs> glockenspiel. Some people just call them bells, um, and that's a lot easier to say. But they're made out of metal, and I think you'll recognize this. You can see them here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think you'll recognize this. sound yeah that was course, that was harry potter wasn't it it was harry potter and of course part of being a percussionist is not only having all these instruments you have to have different sticks each instrument takes different sticks yeah so or mallets that you play them with um the other one i have is called a marimba and it's a little bit different in that it has the bars are made out of wood okay. and i'm going to do this sometimes as a percussionist you have to play with four sticks. You have to hold two sticks in each hand like this. So they, they <laughs> kind of, it's kind of an odd looking thing, but you could make them together like this or you can make them really far apart. Oh, and then you can play four notes at the same time. You can play four notes at the same time. Okay. So I think you'll recognize this too, but this is on a marimba and it's made out of wooden bars. So let's see. Okay, let's see what he's got. That's a marimba. So we get to play things, that, instruments that make melodies, which is kind of fun. That's really fun. And we, there's also a whole lot of instruments that I don't have here at my house that are all percussion instruments. Timpani, the big kettle drums, big bass drums. I, my drum set is upstairs. There, there's all kinds of instruments like that. Yeah, I guess they just don't all fit in that little room you've got they there. They don't all fit down here. And if I put them down here, then I have to carry them upstairs. So I... <laughs> I put the instruments down here. I don't have to carry as much. You know what I noticed when we were talking a minute ago is you have all these instruments and I was kind of looking around. I'm sitting here at my dining room table and I have some things that I think might be almost exactly the same. So could could you show me again what you, some of those things, what's, what was the um, thing you made? One was the Guiro. Oh, the Guiro. Okay. And this and would be easy to make at home. Yeah, so it, it has ridges in it like mm -hmm. this and you just take a pencil or something okay. and you scrape on it I have a pencil and look i have something with ridges i found on my table look at that uh, there you go a water bottle water yeah bottle. so if you have one of these at home you could play Whoops. <laughs> oh no <laughs> it's filled <laughs> now it's an empty <laughs> <computer. laughs> so hold on i have a napkin i need to clean that up <laughs> <laughs> the lid wasn't really on very well yeah, there you go oh well <laughs> let's see all right, oh, I'm gonna put the lid back on better. <laughs> All right, now it's better. All right, so, and so you don't even have to do anything. You just have to have well, the lid Turn it off. sideways and. Oh, you know what'd be fun? Is if, if, what if you gave me a pattern and then I try to do the same pattern? Okay. Home. With a grown up, you could just kind of go back and forth. It's almost like having a secret conversation or a secret. Well, my wife is a music teacher, and we would drive around with our kids in their car seats in the back, and I would play rhythms on the steering wheel while we were driving around, and they would play them back to me. I tell you what, being the kids of music teachers, it, it is a problem. Yeah. All I, right. bet, I have another one here. I bet you could find something too. This is oh. called a shaker. Oh, let me look. Um, you know what? My daughter was making cupcakes, and so she had these sprinkles. Ah, oh, sprinkles. And I, I think they might make a shaker sound. So let, let me hear what so you've got. They have little seeds inside of here. That's pretty good, and these taste better. 
That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then another one I had that you could probably do something at home. This is everybody's favorite. The, the thing is, there's, you always want more cowbell. So here's the cowbell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, for sure. Um, let me see. Oh, you know what? I have this. I have this empty mug. So I'm wondering okay. if it might work. But that would work. I have to, it's really empty. Okay, so I can turn it upside down. <laughs> I have to make sure, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Oh, it works really well if I hit the bottom. Yeah, that sounds real close. So we could both play Baby Shark. Baby Shark. Yeah, we could. <laughs> and then so another one that would be real easy. The fancy word for these, they look just like sticks, but they're called claves. Oh. And they make. Yeah, that is a nice sound. Um, let's see what I have. I have one pencil. Oh, I have another pencil. Ah, that would work. They're not thick like your claves. They aren't quite as round, as big around, but right. I think. That would work. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so you know what my friends at home could do, I bet, is you could find a piece of music um, from our Spotify page, maybe, and um, you could take one of these instruments that you have at home, and you can play along with it. And maybe even march around like a band or something. I, I think that, that'd be kind of fun to do um, maybe after after you get off of here. When I was little and didn't have any drums yet, I would get one of my mom's pots and I would turn it upside down and I'd sit on the floor and sit it in front of me and I'd get a couple pencils and play on top of the pot. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Or maybe you yeah. could use a wooden spoon or something too. You could do wooden spoons. If you really want to drive your parents nuts, you can use metal spoons. <laughs> yeah, that would be really loud. Or you could just use, use the plastic spoons mm -hmm. that you get. So, <laughs> and, and then it's really kind of neat because you can use a little pot, a small pot, and that'll make a certain sound. And then you can use a bigger pot and then you can put them together and make your own drum set. Oh, wow. So you could really experiment and play around with this at home. Yeah. So it's kind of a cool thing. That's kind of how I started playing drums was on pots. I would like to see some pictures of our friends doing that. So if you do I, that, can you send me a picture? Because I think that would be really neat to, to see. Yeah, that would be Maybe really cool. Dance. Hmm. All right. Did you say you have a song for me that um, has some horse sounds in it? Well, I do. The thing that some percussionists, we get to do a lot, and I'll show you a couple of these, is we get called on to do sound effects. And we, we're expected to create these sounds. So you already heard my one, my train. <laughs> Um, I also have one that sounds like a, a bird, and it actually has water inside of it to make Ooh. it do that. Oh, wow. Um, I have one that sounds like a dock. <laughs> so, um, I have another one. This is called a ratchet. We have all these things, and then at Christmas time, in the holidays, we get to play what we call sleigh bells, oh, and wow. we shake those, and then I have these little blocks like this that are made out of wood, and they're different sizes, so they can actually sound like a horse. Oh. You put that, you can, I'm sorry you can't see those, but you can hear them, but you put those together with the sleigh bells. I bet you can sing a song with that. I, I bet. I think we should. Don't you think we should? I think we should. All right, let's sing Jingle Bells. Can All we right. do Jingle Bells? We can. I want okay. me to start. Yep, you start and I'll, I'll join. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey! <laughs> there you go. So we get to play, there's so many instruments. And as I was growing up as a percussionist, every time I would go play a job, they would send me a list of what instruments I needed to bring. Wow. So if I didn't have them, then I would go buy them. And I just kept collecting and, and that's what all of us do. And we all have these instruments because you never know when you get called to go play what you might have to uh, bring with you. So if you can't, you can see I have a xylophone back here. I have my marimba and bells. I have timpani, um, mm -hmm. all these, plus all these little percussion instruments that you never know, plus all the cymbals. Wow. Um, 
all that kind of stuff. So, have you ever hit a drum so hard that it broke? You can break the heads on them, but they're made out of plastic now, so you'd have to really hit it pretty hard. To get it really to hard to do. <laughs> but I remember in marching band when we were playing outside, we would break heads. We oh no! Heads. Yeah. Whoops. So, yeah, whoops is right. <laughs> don't like that. So. I bet they don't. <laughs> they're expensive. So. Well, I really appreciate you coming down and talking to us today. We've been trying to teach everyone in Cincinnati a hand washing song. And so I was okay. wondering if we could teach you the hand washing song. Are you ready I to? I would love it. Maybe okay. I can play if some you want to play along, you're welcome okay. to play along. Okay, that'd be great. All right, it starts with hands up. Here it goes. It gets faster at first. You ready? Okay. okay. It goes, hands are washing, hands are washing, wash them till they're clean. Get some water, get some soap, and wash them till they're clean. Hands are washing, hands are washing, wash them till they're clean. Get some water, get some soap, and wash them till they're clean. Hands are washing, hands are washing, wash them till they're clean. Get some water, get some soap, and wash them till they're clean. Oh, where's the towel to pat them dry? It's on the rack, it's much too high. So now we'll have to shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them. Now we'll have to shake them, shake them, shake them till they dry. Now we'll have to shake them, shake them. Now we'll have to shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they dry. <laughs> Not bad. That was really, really fun. Thank you so much. I will be singing that song the rest of the day. Well, it's, I, I mean, you'll be singing either that or Baby Shark. So you've or got two great choices. Yeah, but washing my hands would probably be better right now. It's a really good idea. You should go and wash your hands, you know, I don't know, 50 times a day or something. Is that what they're doing? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. And um, we'll, I'll see you soon, I hope. Yeah, I do too. I miss playing. I like doing the PB&J concerts. And I like when the kids come up and play on the drums. And you get to talk to them and watch their faces when they hit them. And it, it's, it's a great thing that, um, that Linton does for these kids. And so I miss doing that too. So hopefully we'll get it back started next fall, maybe. I really hope so. Yeah, we hope to see this you fall, not next fall. <laughs> this coming fall. Really soon, I hope. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank and I'll you, guys. Bye. Bye.